My name is Fabienne, and I'm a museum guide at the Dayton Art Institute. Isn't this a wonderful glimpse of a day on the Piazza di San Marco in Venice, Italy? See the merchants under canvas tents selling food and souvenirs to the tourists as they stroll through Venice. Notice how it seems to be a windy day. The tent walls are billowing and a flag is fluttering in the wind. It almost feels like you're standing there with them. Have you ever wondered how perspective was developed? Before the 1400s, attempts made by artists to show distance and depth in paintings and in drawings was very limited by their technical ability and their understanding of science. In the early 1200s, an Italian painter, Duccio, explored perspective by using shadows to help create space and depth. This helped a lot, but as you see here in this painting, it still leaves a flatness. Around 1420, Filippo Brunelleschi, an architect and artist, made several drawings of the baptistry in Florence. By following the lines of buildings, Brunelleschi found that all lines followed patterns and would eventually disappear off into the horizon. These are called vanishing points. Brunelleschi conducted many different experiments before arriving on a foolproof method. Paintings can have one point perspective where all the lines merge together and disappear on the horizon at one point. Two point perspective where all the lines merge to two different points and finally disappear on the horizon or three points of lines disappearing off into the horizon. Here at the Dayton Art Institute, we have this wonderful perspective painting by Francesco Gardi, The Clock Tower in Venice. Do you think this is a one-point perspective, two-point perspective, or a three-point perspective? If you guessed one point, you are correct. We do not have an exact date on this painting, but we do know that it was painted after 1755 because that is when the clock tower on St. Mark's Square was restored, as shown in this painting. In this artwork, atmospheric perspective is also used with linear perspective to help provide the illusion of distance and depth in the painting. Notice how the windows on the buildings get smaller as they recede to the background. Details also become fuzzy. There's less contrast in colors and shapes. The farther away the object is, the more difficult it is to recognize. Here in this painting, the view of the Carinaggio Canal, also by Francesco Gardi, we notice that the colors on the horizon shift to a bluish, smoky, grayish quality as they get further away and disappear off into the horizon. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this introductory talk on perspective. If you would like to see this painting by Francesco Guardi, it hangs in the Gray Gallery of 18th Century European Art, Gallery 213 at the Dayton Art Institute.